John here guys and today we're talking about the transformable charger. This is the ISDT608AC, the smart charger with BatGo technology that transforms from a fully inclusive charger with built-in power supply that fits in the palm of your hand and then transforms <laughs> into a portable charger with a XT60 input that you can take with you as a backup or primary charger to the field that is even smaller, much like all of the ISDTs. And <laughs> this is a Gen 1 original sound wave. Oh my goodness. Uh, I searched high and low on eBay probably about 20 years ago. I went crazy trying to get all of the transformers that I wanted as a kid. And I can't remember if I actually had Soundwave or not. I don't think I did, I had Blaster. Uh, and this was uh, quite the find, one of the holy grails on my list back then. Uh, so I've kept it in mint condition and it just sits displaying in my little cave, but it was the perfect companion to this transformable charger because much in the same way that this thing is more than meets the eye, so is this thing. So let's take a look on the bench. ISDT 608AC, the Bat Go. This is a transformable charger that has an included power supply that you can take on or put off. Very cool. There's some instructions that we're not going to read. And here is the thing itself. Uh, it does have sort of a small screen. Um, make sure you select the right power cable. Sometimes when I'm reviewing, I forget to do that. And uh, that's what happened here. So I have plenty of these, so not a big deal. But just make sure you pick the right one. It's just a standard little connector that goes in the back. Uh, but we don't need that to review this today. Let's take a look. We're gonna go ahead and take this apart. Here's the transformable part. So that is the power supply itself. It is totally self-contained. That is where the power plugs plug in, that standard type. Probably have a ton of them around your house. And this is the charger itself. Look how compact and tiny it is. And we're gonna go ahead and plug in a battery. And so it plugs into the same port that the actual other thing plugs into. It's just an XT60 and it boots up right away. So you can actually, in this case, that 6S China Hobby Line would be what I am using to charge. And then we'll plug that in and it works just like pretty much any other ISDT. You push in to select on this one and it has the job wheel that rotates up and down. I actually like this way of controlling it a little bit better than the touchscreen options. Uh, it's very easy to kind of navigate through all of the settings. So I'm going to go ahead and just pick a uh, voltage equal to about 1C and just start charging. And there it is. There is your familiar charging screen. And you can see that uh, it is pretty much plain on the back and on the top so you can keep this as really a two-in-one charger and there is a little usb output if you wanted to charge something as well you have your internal resistance monitoring uh, like you do with all of the sdt uh, products and i really like that feature because it helps you to see that all of your internal resistance is matching not just your voltage and that really gives you a clear indication on if a battery is going bad. If you see those numbers way off from each other, then you can go ahead and put that in the bin so that you don't accidentally fly it and burst your quad into flames. So this is a really cool little charger option. And I like how versatile it is. A lot of times when you buy these small ISDT chargers, you end up realizing if you're a first time buyer that you have to go hunt down and purchase a power supply that might be very big. This one gives you the option of having it all self-contained that you can pull apart. And in this case, it ends up being pretty compact even with the charger. I really, really like that. So really cool on this option, ISDT. Thanks guys.